Hi, I'm Rocky, and I have a grass allergy down on Geeko Farm, and I deal with it differently. Whee! Hi, I'm Vic, and this is a barefaced parody of Seeing Arsenal, which is a most excellent World War I history programme, and you should watch it. Okay, where's the sensible filter on this thing? That's better. Before I went to Egypt, I showed you this bag and all the wonderful things I'd stuffed in it. Uh, it all worked quite well. The bag was extremely comfortable, this mesh back, particularly in the Egyptian heat. Um, it held everything. Um, the only real problem with it is its weight. Um, it weighs 1.3 kilograms-ish, uh, which takes a fair amount out of your uh, allowed carry-on. I didn't use the uh, the water bladder that comes inside it at all uh, while I was in Egypt. We didn't really go that deep into the desert and it was uh, more convenient to use um, bottles of water rather than a bladder. Plus I was carrying about three kilos of sharp pointy lock picks around most of the time and um, wasn't really happy about the concept of perforating the bag. Anyway, um, Oh, interesting side note, this bag has an ear-piercing whistle on it. Hmm, I'm beginning to wish I hadn't done that. Anyway, so one metal bottle, one plastic bottle. That turned out to be a good combo. All right, so the big orange knife. Didn't use the big orange knife at all. Never got to go to the seaside and do some diving, so we didn't use that. Um, most of the uh, cutting and sawing and um, all this sort of stuff was done with uh, a leather man, uh, which was perfectly adequate. Now on the plane, um, I carry a small, what they call a utility key. Um, we'll zoom in for a close up on that in a minute. Uh, this seems to be uh, legal to carry on most airline flights, though if you're traveling to somewhere with high terrorism, like um, uh, the US or uh, Israel um, might not be able to take those on the plane. Um, I did take uh, my little uh, bracelet thing here, which also has the tiny little hidden knife in, inside it. Oh, I did use the built-in compass to uh, see what they did in the pyramids and also uh, to verify my phone because it, for some reason, doesn't like pointing north in Google Maps. Okay, anyway. Um, hat. Hat was very useful. Hat was the major source of cover. Um, couldn't have done Egypt without it, really. Wonderful thing. Um, the poncho, I, although I did take my poncho into the desert, didn't use it. Um, the, the, the cordage that I took along used all the time for running up laundry lines in hotels, basically. So what else do we have here? A t-shirt. Yes, this is a t-shirt here. This one comes with a spare pair of underpants inside. Um, came very handy because I received a baptism of soda water while we were on the aircraft on the way back. So, um, things that didn't work. Well, uh, the three battery torch, that went flat. And uh, I managed to have this handy little uh, one AAA cell torch in my pocket, which I always carry, even on a plane, um, which allowed me to find this headlamp and problem solved. Uh, fire lighting. This is my basically my one and only souvenir from Egypt. It's a little jet lighter. I bought that as pretty much as soon as I got there. Um, and <laughs> yeah, the marker pen with the duct tape around the back. We used absolutely all the duct tape. The pen, very handy for signs and stuff at the convention. Um, also useful for writing my flight numbers and things on my hand so I didn't have to keep referring to tattered boarding passes as to what my seat and flight numbers were. Very important as we had a really mad dash at one point. Very useful to have them hanging on my hand. So, um, <laughs> toilet paper. Yes, uh, Egypt does have toilet paper shortages. Uh, came in very handy also for staunching the blood flow on Tamara's finger when she caught it in a machine. Um, 
honourable mention, uh, carry a stick, a uh, walking stick. Um, fend fending off uh, vendors is uh, one use for it, but also if you hurt your foot or something, um, this allows you to carry on on your holiday or indeed get yourself out of trouble. And uh, we took some sunblock and bug spray, not really bugs in Egypt, but the sun spray came in useful, though not this one, because this is an aerosol. I like to use the aerosol when I'm out camping in the bush, uh, but when you've got an aircraft, um, these are less likely to disappear from your luggage. Um, and the last uh, item that I was really glad I took along that I didn't mention earlier is hard candy. Um, yeah, sucking that on the plane for descent and ascent, not uh, the only thing it's useful for uh, if you've got a sore throat, particularly when you're talking a lot at a convention or something. Yeah, great. And um, finally, don't forget your glasses. For those of you who were watching the last episode um, and saw the ammo holder and the Mari Bull Roarer, uh, we've put the instructions how to make them on the Thingiverse and we will put a link to both in the description below. But for now, that's your lot down on Geeko Farm. Good boy!